Yo, what's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger, and I got an NCAA Football Ultimate Team gameplay for you guys today. You know, I was playing this game a lot last week, trying to record gameplays, and I probably said this, and I don't want to beat a dead horse, if that's the proper term, but EA just really dropped the ball on NCAA football in general and an ultimate team, mainly ultimate team, but just the game mode itself. I mean, they don't support this game after the release. Now, I've only really been playing it hardcore for the last two years. What I normally did was rent the game until Madden came out. Um, but and, and I was really worried about when I heard that they were dropping Ultimate Team in this year's game that uh, the support of it would pretty much die down as soon as Madden came out. And it was so great at first. They were giving us cards every Thursday night, the Heisman hopefuls every Saturday. And soon as soon as Madden came out, all of that support just dropped. Now, I know they do give us like the League Leaders cards, and those are pretty cool on Fridays, and they are still giving us certain solo challenges. Um, and I stepped away from this game mode, as I've said many times, for a while. So there's a lot of stuff I possibly and probably missed out on. Um, but just, again, no support after the release. I made a video back when this game came out about an option glitch that happens when there's a certain option play that I ran, and it would freeze my game every time. I sent it to EA. I sent it to guys on the EA forums. They said they were looking into it. And last week when I was playing, the same thing happened. It still exists. It's terrible. Um, no type of roster updates for online gaming. I mean, even if you're not going to, um, you know, increase overalls and things like that at least update you know the rankings of each team when you're picking your team because I, I don't know again it's just like you you pay money for this game and then you feel like uh the the developers just don't care they got your money um now i know a lot of people will probably say that with madden and any other game but i, I don't find that to be true i just feel like in this case it, it really is they got your money and then they they stop caring there's no new patches i mean they come out with these jersey releases or jersey packs and they update the jerseys and that's cool and all why aren't those same jerseys in in ultimate team you know that would be a great feature uh, and correct me if I'm wrong on this part, but I remember before Ultimate Team was released, they had all these great videos on how there's going to be all these types of different packs to open, you know, conference packs and all this. Uh, I, I, have I missed those or something? I'm not sure what's going on. I don't recall any type of conference packs coming out. Again, I stepped away from the game for a while, so I may have missed that. Um, and let me know in the comments if I did. Um, they still never updated the, the game clock or even the quarter time, and that's a big issue. I mean, I played a game last week where I literally had the ball one possession. I scored on my first possession. My opponent killed the rest of the clock, scored right before halftime, and then he had the ball the whole second half. I never touched the ball again, lost 10-7. to It was the most frustrating experience, I think, and this could be said for Madden. I mean, they did a great job in Ultimate Team by bumping the quarters up to four minutes. Uh, there's no more clock burners, really, that I come across, and that's awesome. They should have just did the same thing. I can't imagine it's a difficult fix, but they should have did the same thing in NCAA Ultimate Team. And maybe even adjust the play clock. I mean... Uh, a 45 second or a 40 second play clock it's designed for 15 minute quarters these are three minute quarters it just doesn't make sense it's a terrible ratio um, and then as far as collections I mean they do give us the team collections every week and those are cool and all um, but just so many other ways they could have benefited and, and made cool features in this game like uh when the bcs or even the bowl season but i'm just going to focus mainly on bcs bowls how did they not have different bcs collections like a you know a, a sugar bowl collection where you had to get oklahoma and uh, I'm sorry, Oklahoma and Alabama players and make that a collection. Give us a coin reward, a pack reward, a player card reward. How did they not play put out cards for each nat, you know bowl game, like the national championship? How do we not get a national championship Cam Newton or Bo Jackson or national champion Charlie Ward or Derek Brooks? You know, a Sugar Bowl AP, a Sugar Bowl Julio Jones, a Rose Bowl Andrew Luck or Russell Wilson, a Rose Bowl Plaxico Burris. I don't know if they have the license to him. Or, you know, a, a Orange Bowl Brian Dawkins or an Orange Bowl Terrell Pryor. Like, how did these cards not exist? How am I thinking of these ideas? 
and I tell you, I'm running out of time in this video, but they better give us future star cards. We better get a Johnny Manziel in this game mode, a Davion Clowney, a Clinton Dix. When these players get drafted and, and, and they should be in Madden, they should also be in NCAA Ultimate Team. That would at least make things fun playing with guys who right now are untouchable but shouldn't be in a couple months. Click that thumbs up. I really would appreciate it. Peace.